go folks, just having a look at what Chorus can do. Fiber network, it's, uh, it's pretty impressive I've got to say. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, Kurt, um, this is this is nice to see uh, the chorus network able to deliver even more impressive speeds than than what we've had before. Uh, obviously, with the ultra fast broadband um, in New Zealand. We've been able to get up to uh, gigabit speeds to date, That's but right. then uh, today's announcement is around um, faster. Uh, the what do you call it? Ten gig uh, G pon hyperfiber. Yeah, yeah, is the product name for yeah. our um, 10, 10 gig G pon. So, so the first technology that UFB was built on um, was called G pon. The G stands for gigabit. Now we're moving to ten G pon. So it's a tenfold increase in the maximum capability. And this basically allows you to use the, the existing infrastructure to a large regard that's already been rolled out Correct. and where you need to make a change, is that just at the exchange type level? Where yeah, so over the last eight years, um, all of our effort has really been in putting the fibre in the ground and that is really a multi-generational asset. Mm -hmm. um, so the upgrade here is twofold. One is we um, replace the laser or the technology in the local telephone exchanges and then also um, the consumer needs uh, to upgrade the, the, the fibre ONT in their house. Right. So this is a 10 gig capable um, uh, fibre box. Okay, now the initial service you're rolling out, the, the, that box would be attached to, uh, understand a 2 gig uh, symmetric and 4 gig symmetric That's offering? Right. That's correct. So two, 2,000 megabits a second symmetrical and 4,000 megabits a symmetrical. Um, one of the reasons for that is, um, uh, from a consumer perspective, um, there aren't at the moment a lot of consumer devices that have 10 gig um, e-capable ports on them. But the ONT here, um, if you do have a 10 gig uh, capable device, you can plug it straight into the 10 gig port. Um, but we've also got four gig e-ports. So that means you can plug in the devices you already have. So you don't, you don't need to upgrade your devices in your house. Um, you can plug in existing devices that support gig and get one, two, three, four gig um, all the way through. And if, so, if an organisation was wanting to go faster than um, four gigabits per second, is that something they're just going to have to wait for a, a, a future service offering on? So we do have products in market today at the business end of the market for 10 gig. So if you are serious business and have serious needs, you can get very huge speeds and bandwidths. I think what this technology and product is about is bringing those types of speeds into the mainstream. And so that's very much what this is about. Right, so this, it's not going to be priced dramatically higher than what we what we see today in the market. for. It's targeted at small to medium businesses sure. and early adopter consumers uh, rather than the corporate end of town, correct? Yeah, yep. excellent. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Kurt. Cheers.